Welcome to Winston-Salem, and this is what ACC men's soccer is all about. A top six clash between Notre Dame, the visiting Fighting Irish against the home team, the Demon Deacons. Eight game win streak for the Deeks, a six game win streak for Notre Dame, and this is what it's all to play for. You play to win things. If Notre Dame wins, they clinch the Coastal Division outright. If Wake Forest wins, they clinch the Atlantic Division outright. It is all on the line here. We're underway, David Erbacher is the center official. Neither team has lost since mid-September. Notre Dame, six-game win streak. Wake Forest, longest win streak in the country, eight straight Ws. What's going to happen here is if you stretch it once, can you do it again and again? they got to reset this line defensively. They're a bit too deep. Second corner of the match, headed down. Shot attempt, snapped off, blocked. Falls to Williams. Center back. Plays it short. Change the angle. Back to Swollen. Lights off the challenge. He's got space. Gives it a hit. Just wide. In respect, given the stakes that are at play for both of them. The divisional title and the possibility to be the number one overall team and seed in the ACC tournament. Blacks could turn by Mitchell. Out is there. Going the other way a little bit, dealing with some of the frustrations during warm-ups for him. <laughs> we are creatures of habit. Cooper Flax takes it forward. Mitchell is there, but so is Dowd. As always. Senior from Georgia. Easy, son. Go on. Go on. Uh-oh. Watch out. Uh-oh. Bat four. 2v3. He'll give a strike from outside. Alfred's got to lay out. Just turns and says, hey, what are we doing here, guys? Flips it over to Cummins. Back to O'Gara. Yeah. Oh, will turn on that right foot. Oh, he threatened the UNC game. Looks similar. Just turn and pipe that thing. Number one overall seed potentially is on the line here between these two teams. But also there, we will reveal at halftime the top 16. Come back to that in a second. Rue wants a foul. On the backside on Cummings. Top 16. <laughs> <laughs> well, with eight of the top 22 in the RPI, will you just... You just no way I'm getting in trouble with the committee by saying no, that one. That's well done. All right, here's Rue on the ball now. He clips it right into the hands of Alfin. By eliminating that ball into them, but then also still making sure that they're providing enough distribution going forward. Captain back post. Williams heads it down. Alfin there to grab it before they made that run in front of him. David Erbacher blows the whistle. Fans make their way back to the seats, and here we go. Second 45, as what Devin called earlier in the game, the biggest game of the ACC season. Rolf Mitchell to the left, and then Bo Cummins bombing up on the right spot. Lays it back to Baba Nyang. Baba can hit it from there. He'll lay it off to Forbes. Forbes. Uh, Running Williams on a yellow card, skips by him. Low ball played in! What a block! Still there though. Flex. Forbes dummies it. Deflects and almost an own goal part two. Looking for Mitchell. Might have to step. Nice cut back by Mitchell. Goes again. Finally hits it off the bar. The egg heavy touch. And oh man. Out of voice is happy to get rid of it. How about Roll Mitchell? Let's go. Gannenbacher saves from both distance and close proximity from Brian Dowd. Flax sprays it out to Niang. Cummins on the overlap. Niang charging, goes down. Erbacher waits and then says, Get up. You there either for Rada Voisa in from 16, behind. Get a touch on the ball first. Notice how he just sort of leans into it, Bob and Yang. Now, the shoulder, there's a little bit of contact, but his foot actually touches the ball first. Yang starts to lean in then. But if they're not coming and they're sitting deep, you almost have to drop. Yang, 1v1. Finds Guarino. It's in! This is the game! Oh, that's basically.
pace is readily available and allows them to continue to move for the race and play right into the hands. Tiki Taka stuff. Bob and from the far side creates the overload. Now all of a sudden you're trying to find that next mark. About 10 minutes ago, there was a dummy that the ball got let through, and we said, your head's on a swivel. Where's the next run coming from? That's exactly what happens here. For both teams, the Irish hoping they can find the equalizer and flip that equation. Wanting a foul there is Rue, and Erbacher gives it. You like it? It's a, I think it's the right call. All their big bodies come forward. You see they've been successful on set pieces. Clipped in. You said be smart. They were just that. And it's Daniel Russo. Came off the bench. Came out of the locker room. And gets you the equalizer with under six minutes to play on the road. Go back to the goal first, right? It's a great delayed run by Daniel Russo. Give him a lot of credit. Bo Cummins loses him. That six foot frame, full extension to redirect this into the bottom corner. What took place in the corner? Russo celebrating rightfully. There's Sidney Paris. He gets bumped. Paris, a key member of this team, but just back from national team duty with Puerto Rico, not playing so far in this match. Played on their senior team in the Nations League, and now it starts to dust up both ways. Started carrying a yellow card, and you heard it right there, David Erbacher saying, he went over to celebrate in the corner, and he stands up and he pushes the altercation with Sidney Paris is going to be the second yellow. And as you heard Chad Riley saying, well, you issued a different yellow. He's trying to explain it and say, I can look at this review and check it out. Second yellow, red card. Russo is out of the match after scoring the goal. Tubbs on him. We're under five minutes. A good turn by Bobby Yang. Drills it to flex. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Woo. In college soccer the regular season anymore. The point would clinch the division for Notre Dame outright and would also maintain their number one spot, but it's not over. Swollen cuts it back. Yeah, <laughs> to White. Escribano on it. Every fan on their feet right now. Everybody on the bench on their feet. 70 seconds left. Driven! Oh! Wow, Prince Ponza just challenged down. Escribano, Tubbs going forward. Ball played in, looking for Will Mitchell. Falls for Wallet, struck, deflected. 14 seconds, corner. Swan lines up, is he gonna get a shot? He is, punched by down, and that's gonna end it. Notre Dame clenches the Coastal Division title and remains unbeaten. In ACC play, six, one, and one, they take a point. Wake takes a point, and the Atlantic Division still up for grabs as we go into the final week of the ACC season.